In this video, we'll see how to install Go on Ubuntu. For Windows users, click on the link in the description below. First, visit golang.org. Click on Download Go and select the Linux option. While the tar file is downloading, copy this command which unzips the file and stores it in the user slash local directory. After the file is downloaded, go to the downloaded directory and open the terminal there. Paste the command that we had copied from the website, append sudo to the start and hit enter. At this point, when you type go version, it should tell you that go command is not found. However, if you navigate to the directory where the go was extracted, the go command works just fine. In order for us to be able to use the go command anywhere outside this directory, we need to set the go root and the go path, which are the go environment variables. To set these variables, open the dot profile file for normal terminal users and the dot zshrc file for users who have zsh installed. You can set the variables as shown on the screen. The go root points to the user slash local slash go directory. The go path will point to your workspace, which primarily contains three directories called src, bin and pkg, which stands for package. The third variable that you need to set is the path of the bin subdirectory of your workspace and of your go root. You need to source the dot profile or the dot zshrc files to apply your changes. I'm going to cd into the workspace where as you can see I've created three folders. I'm going to now cd into the src folder where I've created a file called hello.go that contains a sample program that prints hello world. Do not worry about what each of these lines mean. We'll look into that in detail in an upcoming video. Let's run this program on the terminal with the command go run, followed by the file name of the program, which in our case is hello.go. As you can see, hello world is printed on the terminal. You have successfully installed go on your PC and run your first go program. In the next video, we'll look into what each line in the program means. Stay tuned. Do like and subscribe for more on-point videos just like this one.